morning and welcome to today. Today we're headed uh, down to the barn uh, to do chores. I got Sophie. Is that Sophie? I got I'm Gabby. Sophie and I got Gabby on the way. We and got I the dog. Oh, why do we always have to do this? You can't. You're too fat. <laughs> That's okay. I can pick Gabby up. It's been a hard winter, you guys. <laughs> I can pick Gabby up. Oh, well, anybody can pick Gabby up. Yeah. I can't pick myself up. Everybody but Gabby could pick Gabby up. I see grass, you guys. Not much of it, but I saw some. Ah, Penny Pickle. She was watching out the window for us. Every single year, we lose a riding time from winter, from like weather and from other extenuating circumstances, mostly weather. And we really haven't this whole winter till now. Till now, we've lost riding time. We have lost riding time. I'm just feeding the kitty. We have a bowl? Yeah. All right. Let's do this because I have special plans for us today, exciting plans for us today. Uh, yeah. And we're going to explain in just a few minutes. So we're going to try and do chores the fastest as possible. Don't spill it, Gabby. Don't spill it. Fast as possible. All right. Let's do it. No. I messed up Gabby's. Yeah, I messed up Gabby's routine. That's what happens. When you're trying to be fast. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh my goodness. It's always a mess. I can't wait till the spring thaw and the big cleanup. I cannot wait. I can. Gabby can wait. But the dogs are excited. Summer, spring, winter, or fall, they're happy. And that is my question for you guys today. Are you happy? Are you truly, truly happy? Because when you're happy, Happiness comes from inside you and it enables you to withstand all the outside forces that try and make you unhappy. Are you happy, Gabby? No. It's too, early. <laughs> too early to be happy. Are you happy, Sophie? Are you happy? Are you just happy inside your heart? Yeah, you always are. Are you happy, Ruby? Are you happy? Are you happy? She's like, where is it? Where's the happy? Tell me, where is it? Where's the happy? That's my dog. Molly, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy, Molly? All you need is a pine cone. All she needs is a, not a pine cone, is a pylon. pylon. She knows the word pylon. Yeah, where's the pylon? Get it. No, 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 no. You say, get the pylon. Get the pylon. <laughs> Or where she <laughs> prefers you. <laughs> if you're struggling, just know that there is always a way to move forward, always a way to find true happiness. And if you need help, you just let me know and I'll help you because I am truly happy. It's been years full of happiness. There's a lot of years of doing work to figure out how to get happy. And once I got there, it's been incredible. And I want that for you guys too. All right. Tell Chores! Them, can I tell them one thing? Sure. I'm, tell them one thing. Oh, I'm starting another business. Oh my gosh, don't tell them that. Why? One sassy pony. Two sassy ponies. Two sassy ponies. Make her move. Her move. Oh, they'll move. Oh, hi, I got you. And three sassy ponies. And three sassy horse. She's just taking her time. Let me see what's happening out here in the world. <gasps> Penny, let me clean your eyes. Can I clean your eyes? Not today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and there's Molly with her pylon. And Ruby, come on. Today's heart, even though it kind of looks like a hoof print or a footprint. First heart of the day, and I've also seen a rainbow today. And you're probably wondering like, how could you see? A rainbow. I saw it in a picture. Just happened to fall upon this picture this morning and there's a huge rainbow in it. It's cold. It's cold. Like minus 12. Just in case, minus 12 Celsius. Just in case you're wondering, like, what the heck is actually cold? It's March, you guys. How could it be cold? Freezing. I still have my crayons. Well, we still have our crayons from last night if you didn't get a chance to see us day by day out on the town out last night if you want to really know what the day by day girls are like when they go out places yeah it's been a long time since we've been out to a restaurant Look and at the mask that I you could her. tell uh oh this is sophie's mask that she colored 
Wow. It's Christmas. Things have changed now. Things have changed. But anyways, uh, we're headed out. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. Well, actually, maybe I should tell you guys. Okay, so basically, homeschool, for any of you guys oh, who don't know. Tell yeah, tell them. So um, I'm tell them. So he's starting a business. Okay, so. A second business. A second business. So you guys know that homeschool is, well, you might not know, homeschool is designed to teach you how to learn. All school is, is to teach you how to learn so that when you find your interest, you can learn about it and, and grow in it and become successful or like make a life at it. So um, homeschool is kind of like school but it's designed on your own interests. school is designed on everybody's interests. like whoever writes the curriculum writes it based on like trying to make things interesting for all sexes all ages all personalities homeschool is super designed for your own interests and so sophie's interests are starting a business and making things and doing things and it's all life is all about just finding your interests and expanding on those so today we're gonna expand on another one of sophie's interests and we'll show you guys all along the way she wants to sell something else that she makes it's candy <laughs> it's candy <laughs> yeah sophie has got a big and, mouth i don't know where she gets it from so sophie and i are in the dollar store right now we're getting oh stuff God. i can't wait to show you what sophie's next endeavor is going to be you guys you're going to be um, so surprised we, come here next like, time. we have to get a bunch of stuff from every so we saw these these are not to do with her endeavor but aren't they so cute like they're so cute the dollar store has such nice stuff she also really likes these, which I don't even know what you would do. I, I'm not crafty. I don't even know why I try. I'm not a crafty girl, but we are trying. <laughs> All right, let's get the last of the stuff. Okay, so we have one this more is, store. I know, we bought annoying stuff. Stuff that like hangs out of the bag. And then you have to try and carry it around. But we have one more store. This is gonna be the store that we're gonna get all the fun stuff. Like part of the Ooh, like a pillow? Not a pillow. Like the fun stuff is buying the fun stuff. So we need pink, red. This is like a peach. This is rose. Creamy peach. Okay, peach. Corn power blue for birthday cake. All right, we are having way too much fun here. Yeah. We found the dried fruit section. Doesn't dried kiwi look so good? So Sophie wants to try it, so we're gonna get a little bit of that. Dried pineapple, clearly those are a big hit. Can we try some of those too? And Joji berries, what the heck are those? Jo wolf berries. I've never tried those before. And dried mulberry. Is that enough or more? No, that's good. And then dried mango slices. Can we have some of those? And what are those? Ginger chunks, I'd like to try those. Those are good for if you feel sick. Alright, so we're going to put them in separate bags so we can yeah. mix flavors. So, Sophie and I got everything we needed except for one thing. Of course, we can only not get one thing. I can order it or we can go to another craft store. So, we are going to go to another craft store because we were so excited about this project like this project is just gonna be a it's just gonna be a super fun thing for uh, the girls to do if Gabby wants to do it and like every time Sophie builds a business and learns about marketing and 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 all the rules that she has to follow and like she learns so much about shipping with her bracelet business that she started and that my friends is how you are supposed to live life you're supposed to experience things and try things and Who's find what you love start the car <laughs> Gabby says start the car find the things you love because one day if you hit on the thing that you really love to do and that's what you end up doing it feels like you've never worked a day hmm. your seatbelt? because 
working with something that you love doing doesn't feel like work. So anyways, uh, we're gonna go there later after we pick up Sam. But first we have to go to the barn because, well, horses. And we are back to making grain. Do not have a lot of grain here. So you guys know Sam's been doing the grain. I brought more bags so that we can make more bags for Grafen. All right, I've got a few days worth of grain and then I need to get another bag of grain to make more. Also, I only see Grafen enjoying a big, huge round bale all to himself. Oh, I see what's happening here. They've abandoned you. <laughs> and they're playing down there with other horses. That's okay, eat it all, my friend, eat it all. <laughs> Go ahead, eat, get chubby. I love a chubby horse. Aww. Well, hi, handsome. How you doing? Look at Finn down there. He's so confused. <laughs> He's like, what? Do you need me? Because if you need me, I'll come. Oh, then he saw Sophie. <laughs> I'm not oh, he saw Gabby. Oh, you see Gabby. See, he knows. Those are so smart. You know she's your girl. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna throw the bags in the barn. I'll meet ya. Well, hi, stormy night. Hi, handsome. I got nothing for you. I hate when I don't have a pocket full of treats. Hi. <laughs> Why are you way up here? This is actually a nice field. It's got this little spot where they come to drink and then they go down where they eat. Hi. Hi. Hi, big handsome boy. He's like, I know you always bring treats. Why don't you have treats? You okay? You doing okay? Yeah, let me clean your eye. I'm the eye cleaner of horses. So Storm and Buddy are best buddies now. We see them playing a lot. What is in your mouth? What is that? That's a hay. That's a hay. Hi. Hi, buddy. Storm and his posse of friends, you guys. And then there's a foal over here. It is a Chino day. All right. What kind of tracks are those? That does not look like cat tracks, is it? Maybe it's cat tracks. Looks like turkey tracks. Oh, maybe that's the culprit right there, Thumper. Hey, Thumper. Ah, uh, Gino. Wow, they're still chipping away at ice. Look at you guys. This is how thick the ice was. Like, that thick in the whole barn. That's how thick the ice is. Like, all the way down, and then there's thicker spots. And then even the stalls have ice. It should be gone this weekend, hopefully. Hi, Chino. Hello, happy boy. So, we left the fins in the field so Gabby can ride a Chino. And the problem with that is that Gray Finn is like, yes, the mean boy is gone. And he's just pushing Finn, our gold Finn, around like crazy. And Finn's not happy. And he saw Sophie and he just was calling to her and calling to her. It just made me so sad. Like, he knows that she is his girl and he wants her. I'm gonna Chino hug. And it is heavy. Hi, handsome. He's like, scratch me, scratch me. We left at 10 a.m. and now it's like 2.30 and we're headed home. Uh, yeah, it's so long. Come on, Gabby, we're gonna go give our horses treats. They all know it's treat time. Like, the weather is really... 2.13. 2.13, oh my gosh, it's not 2.30. I'm so sorry I lied, you guys. I'm so wrong, so bad, so... Here, do stretches with Gray Finn too. You stay here with me. He's already been stretched. So like the, all winter we haven't lost it. <laughs> yeah, don't do it on a hill. So <laughs> here we go with Sophie again. So basically every winter we lose time, riding time. Wow, look at Gray Finn go. Because of weather and we haven't yet this year, not really. Now at the very end of winter. Oh, that's weird. That carrot is hollow. Make sure there's nothing bad in it. <laughs> yeah, why are you sticking your bum in Grayfin's bum, Sophia? So, 
hopefully we'll be back to regular riding starting on Monday because we miss it. Like it just feels, wow, look at him go. <laughs> All the way put here. Him yeah. Put him to his bum. <laughs> All right. I would not do that down a hill with a slippery I would not do that down a hill. But the, the paddock is not too slippery. It's nice. Well, like when you step up. Hey, but you know what? I don't know. I'm going to just. Gonna just hold out your hand and say no. Oh, to run you over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, great, Finn. Grayfin's still not feeling like he's a part of the group, but don't worry, Grayfin. One day you will. One day you'll all be buddies, okay? I promise. I promise. We'll be back tomorrow to make more grain. Goodbye, boys. We'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Be nice, Chino. Goodbye. I got two. Oh, gosh. It's about to happen. Oh, wow. oh my God. Go on. You bend it. Hey, now I have to. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you're the mean older no. sister. No! no. <laughs> Why do girls always pull hair? Like, that's just so weird. What? Uh oh, okay. Hey. It's getting too rough, too rough, too rough. Pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. You can't do anything. Pick her up, pick you her up. Pick me up. <laughs> she can pick you up. <laughs> Pretty sure you were wrong about that, Gabby. <laughs> Uh, even the dogs are wrestling now. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys but first what we got. Look, look can I'm you guys see over there? They have like a rope, and they're wrestling each other. See, like see? dogs mimic us. They always do that. Stuff. I know. She grabbed my thigh. <laughs> well, that's weird. So these are the things we got. These are like little dowels. We got a wooden? whippy thing. We got a whippy thing. A whippy. A whisk. Thing. A whippy thing. A whippy thing. I like whippy thing better. We got some little rope things. It's a thing um, whip people. We got this, which is corn syrup. <laughs> no, it didn't touch We it. got it did. a thermometer. Sure and we got a whole lot. Oh, um, this is flavoring. It's cotton candy. I thought this was ranch. We also have cake batter. <gasps> Can I have some of we this to freeze? Because if you freeze corn syrup, then it turns into the stuff. Into and what stuff? And we also have stuff. bubble gum, like candy stuff. Well, we're gonna make candy, Gabby. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try this. So I need have... some of this to put in the freezer and freeze it. Okay. So we have cotton candy, cake batter, cherry, and bubble gum. And peach. And then we got a bunch of food coloring. We got candies. Um, we got. We wanted to try these, and they were all disgusting. Yeah, and then we wanted to try like the kiwi. They sucked. We bought these mojo. Seeds or More something. Mojo I thought they meant like they would give you mojo. And I'm not exactly sure what mojo is. I'm hoping it means like energy and vitality, not what else it could mean. Because otherwise, that'd be embarrassing. And we bought these. I like these. These are like, I forget what they are. And then we bought these, which were ginger candies. They were gross. So don't buy those. The girls have stopped wrestling, but the dogs are still wrestling. Anyway, uh, we need one more important thing before we can make the thing that Sophie wants to make and sell. It's gonna be so cool. Like, I can envision it so much. Like, it is such a cool thing. Just wait. But I'm gonna go, Sam's gonna be home in an hour, and I'm gonna go with him to see if I can get the one last thing that we need. And then a we will show- live? A will to live? I have a will to live. Try and guess what we're making. Yeah, so I want you guys to comment below and see if you can guess what we're actually going to make. And then probably we're going to make them tonight and then we'll show you the final product tomorrow. It's going to take practice, you guys. She ended up yeah, this is what she ended up with today. Wait, water. Grab, and then I got a Pepsi. And then I have water. Yeah. I forgot my drink in the car. That's how, much, that's how many drinks it takes to keep Gabby alive. Don't you know that you're beautiful?